welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be touring at this really pretty beach house vacation home that i built and i'm really excited to show you guys it so like i said um it is a beachfront home so i just pictured that the beach is right across the street from this house i have made a house kind of similar to this one and i called it a california coastal home so i just pretend i didn't put it on the actual um like beachfront lot but that's because i just like the way how green the grass looks on these so i just always built on this lot but yeah really pretty um you can see i put a lot of palm trees and then these pretty little succulents which kind of looks like they're growing on sand so that's why i chose to put a lot of those basically all around and then they have a nice little patio in the front because like i said the beach is right across the street so it would be nice to sit there and have lunch or breakfast and then the theme for the exterior, I kind of just went for a black and white theme with the windows and doors being black and then the white weatherboard exterior. So you see the entrance The entrance is on the side, so that's why there's just a little walkway there. And then you just walk into the big great room. So like I said, I picture this being a vacation home, so you would just come here to stay for a week or two and just enjoy the summer. So here's the little living room area. Um, I didn't really go for the typical coastal home, I mean coastal style where it's just lots of blues and like whites and very airy. So what you can see I used the black really sleek sofas and then I like the little blue slash aqua pillow on there. So I kind of just used that as like the blue. There's a little side table here with the seashell and then that little mirror there. There's a potted plant. And then the little coffee table there with some decorations and then there is a big sliding door so you can open it up and just have kind of like that indoor outdoor living space there's a pretty sleek fireplace in the corner and also a tv so then here's the kitchen kind of kind of like a kitchenette because i don't really see a lot of storage space um being like in this kitchen at all but like i said it's just a vacation home so you won't need that many things so then here's a little dining area and I did get those chairs and the little flower from an architect home but I know that they were from online packs. I just never bought them myself so then that I just put that little decoration there and yeah just really pretty lots of blacks, blues and then that wood tone which really helps to I guess go with the whole little coastal theme. So then over here is a hallway and on the first door to the right it's just a little utility room so I just put the laundry machines in here and then just a sink just in case you need to wash any clothes by hand and then here is a door and there are two bedrooms on the first floor this is in total a five bedroom house so then i used a pretty light wood little bohemian bed with those nightstands which match which match it perfectly i was really happy that i was able to like find that new combination and then i used a pretty little um white and light wood lamps there there's a pretty shell painting above it and then the buffet table which i commonly use for a dresser and there's just some decorations there and yeah just really simple and then the hallway just curves over here to the side and there is another little guest bedroom here and i used my favorite light blue and white bed with the nightstands from the urban urban furniture event <laughs> and then there's just um, a little decoration on this nightstand and then I used my favorite little lights that have the plants little draping down from it. And then they do have a nice view of the pool outside, which I think is really nice. And then they have a fireplace here and a chair in the corner as well. And then a feature that this bedroom has is that it has its own little closet space since I didn't add like a, um, like a dresser or anything like that. So then across is a door for the... I guess guest and kind of family restroom as well so i used the pretty little grand um vanity there i got that one from an online pack and then i used the villa black shower there's some towels a potted plant and then the gray toilet so then for the outside backyard area there's the door there's two little potted plants and then i used the black umbrella set that one i got from an architect home as well so then here is the pool area and I like how I broke up the patio pavings and how the pool paving is much darker and then the um, patio paving is just that light gray. So then I added more of the little succulents out there in the back of the house and then just two little palm trees on each side and then those pretty 
um, spa benches. I think they look really neutral and they go really good with the theme and all the colors. So then here's just a little overview of the first floor and the little big grand living area. So really pretty and like I said, not the usual um, like coastal style um, colors and stuff. So then here is the landing and again this is an L-shaped room so it turns over here to the side. And then there are two black French doors which just open up to a small little reading and like work area. So like I said, it is a vacation home so I didn't really emphasize that in this house. So there's just a bookshelf here with some decorations. There is a wall clock on the wall and then just a small little computer here in the corner and a light. So then going all the way down to the hallway, this is the family restroom for the upstairs and I just use the same you know furniture and everything and then for the shower I thought it was a really cool idea to do this where it's just both of them on the corner and I've actually seen Sam Strictly Architects do this before she did it like kind of a while back but when I was playing around and you know trying to figure out how to set up the restroom because it was kind of odd, oddly shaped I remembered about it and I thought it was really nice to add that there and then just put a little stand for the pretty vase to be there in the middle. So then here is another guest bedroom and I used this really grand hotel bed and I think it's really nice and I need to use it more often because I think it matches really well with a lot of stuff. And then this little coffee table matches it perfectly. It has a set of couches that match it perfectly as well. So then here they also have that little closet space, which I think is nice. So then for this next door, there's another guest bedroom. And I use this quotation marks bed because I know it's not an actual bed. But I just like to use it for that. And then it just has a little nice dance with the pretty seashell lamps on each side. And then that blue painting above it. And then there's just a coffee table here with some decorations and a full length mirror. So again, it's a vacation home, so it's pretty empty. And it's just there for temporary reasons, so I just kept a lot of the bedrooms very simple. So then through the double doors is the master bedroom, and I used the same light blue and white bed, and then those pretty nightstands, which I feel like they do match it really good because they do have the blue color and then the white, I mean the light wood kind of goes with like the whole beach theme. And then they just have the pretty vases above and then also those lights that are just suspended down from the ceiling. And then I did forget to add a sofa in front of the bed. I was going to do that but I just totally forgot. So then here is just a corner TV. They have this pretty dresser which I got from an architect home. And is it just me or do the handles kind of look kind of like sea or like sea stars or I don't know. They just remind me of the beach. For some reason I was just staring at it and I was like oh. They kind of go with the beach theme. So then they have a seashell above it just as a little decoration and then a fireplace as well. And then here's their ensuite. Again, it has the same fixtures and everything as the rest of the restrooms. The villa black shower, the little towels handle, and a gray toilet. And then here is their balcony, which is breaking the SIM code. So I don't know why it glitches and it like disappear so I just wanted to point that out but you can see there is railing so your sims are not gonna fall off but yeah they have their own little private balcony there and then I just left it empty but of course you can add furniture to it and yeah that concludes the tour of this pretty beachfront house I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know by giving this video a like or comment down below I really love really reading all of your guys's comments and I really appreciate it and yeah, the grid will be coming up and thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!